So this time we're going to try cut using a more organic method. This allows us to cut out arms, legs, heads, anything that isn't a straight plane. Like before, we need to set the origin to the geometry and we also need to make sure we've applied our rotation and scale. So with the object selected, we go to Object, Apply, Rotation and Scale, and Object, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. There are several ways to do this. There's the easy way, and there's the smooth way, and you can either use a cube for the peg as we did in the last video, or you can use a different method, which I'll try and demonstrate here too. So the idea is basically to create a plane that isn't a plane. We want to make some thin object that cuts through the areas of the model that you want to cut. So it's easy to start off with a circle, but it doesn't have to be. It can be a curve or any shape that goes around the bit you want to cut off. I'm going to use a circle. Scale the circle up. A bit more. And then I'll rotate it and put it approximately into place. Okay, that's approximately in place. So now I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier to snap the circle to the model. The shrink wrap modifier takes our circle and sticks it on the surface of the dog. Now we're going to edit this to make the shape more like we'd like to have it. So in order to do that, click this button on the modifier. And that allows us to see it in edit mode. Now with the circle selected, we go in edit mode and we can see our circle. What we want to do now is move the points in so that it more accurately defines where we want to make our cut. One thing that is useful to do is to turn on proportional editing at this point. We turn on proportional editing and we grab this vertex and with this circle we can change how much of the circle is affected. We can then drag it closer to where we want to go. Now you'll notice it's snapping to various parts of the model. If you hold the control key, it makes it much smoother. For individual control of the vertices, turn this off. So let's say we're happy with this. This is where we're going to make our cut. We go back into object mode and we apply the shrink wrap. And go back to edit mode. And if we select all of our circle by pressing A and then extrude and scale up, we can see our object. Now mine's red because the normals are pointing towards me and I have show normal orientation on. I prefer to have them the other way around, although I don't think it really makes much difference. So I will select all of the faces or all of the vertices, mesh, normal, flip. That probably isn't necessary. Now what I have is basically a ring. If I turn the dog off up here, you can see that's what we have. Now what we want to do is make that a solid object. So I'll select the innermost edge loop with Alt and right click, extrude and scale. Then I'll do this a few more times, extrude and scale, extrude and scale. And then for the last part, extrude and then M merge at center. And that fills that up. Now this may be enough. If we go into object mode, turn the dog back on, select the circle and the dog, and then bool tool 
slice, you basically have the object cut. You can see the line here, and we can grab this and move it around. But you can see that the cut is not very nice. It would work. I'll just undo that. So here we are again. What we really want is to make this smooth. But if we make it smooth, I don't know why, but pools will no longer work. But we don't need it. We can make this smooth by adding a subsurface modifier to it. So we add a subdivision surface, turn it up till it's smooth, maybe four, and apply it. Now to make this work, we have to add another modifier, a solidifier, and set the thickness to really small, zero point zero 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 one. We'll do it, and there we have it. And let's apply that. Now before continuing, we need to make sure that we have applied the rotation and scale of our circle as well. So I'll just do that quickly. So now what we need to do, we have our circle with a subdivision surface applied and a solidifier applied. So now click on your model, add a boolean, and for a target, select the circle. It might take a moment. There we have it. And now we apply it. And nothing seems to have happened. But if you turn the circle off, you'll see there's a thin line here. But we don't have a separate object. So we'll have to make another object. If you go into edit mode with your model selected, you'll see the line there. Hover the mouse over one part of the model and press L. And that's highlighted the leg. Press P, a selection. And we now have two objects up here. If we go back to object mode, we can grab it. And then you have a separate object. And it's smoother underneath. It's not perfect, but it's smoother underneath. We can just add a peg and a hole in the same way as we did in the last video. But I won't bother showing that again. There is another option you have. What we could do, instead of doing what we did, if I turn off this subdivision surface modifier, and turn off the dog so you can see it, and go into edit mode, rather than doing the subdivision surface, going through this process and then adding the cube, we can actually just do this. You can just pull this straight out. You can make a shape that way. And to help you position it, you can put the dog back, go into X-ray mode, and you can position this where you'd like them. If you want to, and you have loop tools enabled, you can right click loop tools, flatten, and you can even make it flat at the bottom. If you do this, you will definitely have to add the solidify modifier with a tiny width, otherwise your model won't fit together. Sometimes you might want to make a cut that fits perfectly with some clothing or something like that. Now I've loaded in a model to demonstrate how you do this. Um, what I want to do is cut this arm off, but I want it so it fits nicely with these clothes. The simplest way to do that is exactly the same way as before, but using the clothes as a starting point. So I'll just demonstrate that quickly. I'll select the top here and go into edit mode. And then what I want to do is select one of these loops. So we're basically trying to make uh, a circle in the same way that we did before. So we have this loop selected. And we will duplicate it. And then we will make this a separate object. Press P, a selection. And then we now have a new object. So if we go to object mode, this object. This is basically 
the object that we will use to make the plane to cut. So edit mode, A, extrude scale upwards. And then we can do exactly the same process as before. We'll turn off the lady. Select the inner loop. Extrude, scale, extrude, scale. Until we get to the end. And then we do extrude, M, center. And then we have a plane to do exactly the same as we did before. Let's bring the woman back. So now we can use this plane to cut this arm off in the same way as we did before. Simple.